probably the thing that most average citizens want to know is the economic development piece. Uh, I think they view that sort of as the most important, I can tell you, from both the campaign and even after we've been elected. That's what we get asked the most about. Uh, what are you doing to attract businesses? Obviously, the, the opportunities for jobs, the tax base. Uh, <clears throat> along, along with this stuff, first of all, we were out at the WISP uh, last week with the governor. They've got a comprehensive plan. They, they want to radically transform all that stuff. And, and I know Jerry's not here. He was here earlier. But, uh, you know, if you get a chance to bend Jerry's ear and just ask him about some of the stuff they want to do, it's amazing. If they're able to accomplish what they want to accomplish over there, it's a game changer for the entire county. It really is. It, it's really impressive. Uh, and it's uh, significant. Uh, also, uh, along these same lines, um, you know, obviously, most of you know, Grantsville was awarded the Arts Entertainment District. Uh, the commissioners worked on a program. We've offered the same incentives that the state gives on the A&E district to any community within the county that's fortunate enough to get that. Uh, we know that Oakland is working very hard. Uh, their town council and mayor and some uh, concerned businesses and, and groups are working to try to, to turn some of the empty storefronts around there. Friendsville just completed a, a pretty thorough economic uh, study of what they can do to improve their town. Uh, so there's a lot of good stuff happening all over the county. Um, the airport, I saw Ed back here, we, we had a meeting uh, last week. The airport had the best year ever uh, last year. So that's, uh, that's excellent as well. And uh, you know, we're, we're pretty pleased right now. You can never have enough economic development, I guess. That's what most people are interested in. But things are going uh, pretty well right now. Um, fourth on our list of, of uh, overarching goals was relationship building. Heard that uh, a lot during the campaign as well, probably by a lot of you in the room. Um, they wanted us to be able to work together and get along, and, and I think we have a wonderful working relationship. Larry gets difficult once in a while, but uh, you know we do uh, we we get along really well. Uh, and and you know just looking out at the audience and the groups that are represented here. Uh, and, and, you know, most of you in here aren't just citizens, you're active citizens, and that's why you're here. And uh, I think we've got a pretty good working relationship with all of you. Um, so our relationship, not only with each other, but also within the courthouse, I mentioned earlier, we got an outstanding staff. Uh, I think we work well together. They're very innovative. A lot of the things that you're seeing that we're talking about came from them, not from us, uh, which is excellent. That's what we want them to be comfortable to move forward and, and try to run their departments and do things for the betterment of the whole county. Uh, state government, you know, this is uh, uh, the first time ever uh, that we've had so many secretaries in our county. And not only did they meet with us, but they most of them opened themselves up to meet with anyone that wanted to meet with them. Um, we met with the secretaries of DNR, DLLR, Budget and Finance, MDE, Planning, Commerce, Transportation. Um, the list goes on. Uh, we've partnered with the, the Department of Housing. The governor spent multiple days here. Uh, and, and, you know, we're, we were fortunate enough to establish not only relationships with those people, but more importantly with their staff, because their staff is the one that makes things happen. And, uh, you know, we, I think we've got an excellent rapport with those folks. They know where we are, they know what a lot of our issues are, and we've already seen uh, them working directly with, with a lot of you as citizens to help mitigate a lot of the problems that you've had dealing with state governments. Uh, we worked with the department heads. You go back to the budget. You know, we had a difficult budget. We went to the, to the department heads. Uh, we asked them to, to ask for less money, which is a difficult thing to do, and they all did, every one of them. Uh, and, and everyone that we fund, uh, you know, that sometimes I think there's been public spats that, that people didn't really appreciate. We heard that loud and clear. And uh, one of them was uh, previously, um, you know, with, uh, with the school board, with the sheriff's department. And there's a lot of the, the school board members here tonight. We appreciate you coming out. I think we've got a great working relationship with them, with Sheriff Corley and, and his group, uh, the college, uh, and, and uh, all of our department heads. Uh, and we tried to work together, and that's important. We were able to put a budget together that met everybody's needs, at least the basic needs, without having to raise anybody's taxes and without having to, to you know, say mean, nasty things about each other, <laughs> uh, which we appreciate. Um, 
working with various state agencies to make things happen here. DCHD with the home ownership program. I'll go back to that time and again because I just think it's so exciting. Uh, we're able to build the only county without an emergency operations center. We're working with various state agencies and federal government to get money to be able to do that. And that's going to happen next year, hopefully. Uh, we got a great working relationship to set with a lot of local agencies and local arms state agencies like, like Community Action, um, the Arts Council, GLAF, I saw some of those members in here to, tonight, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, the Health Department, Garrett Trails, uh, and I'm sure I shouldn't even start naming them because I'm sure I'm going to miss some, but, but all the groups uh, that we work with, I think we've got excellent working relationships with. Uh, the municipal governments. I can tell you from that to my background, uh, we've got an outstanding working relationship with the mayors and councils of the, of the eight municipalities in, uh, in our county. And uh, we meet with them regularly. Uh, we also meet and, and work with, and I think have a great working relationship with uh, the two <coughs> local business organizations outside of the Chamber of Commerce. Well, they work with the Chamber, but they're not under the Chamber and GGBA and, and go. And uh, I think uh, we try very hard to attend a lot of their meetings and be there and, and to be able to help and assist with what they're doing. Um, our department heads uh, serve on a lot of committees. They're involved as well. So it's not just us. It's our department heads uh, that serve on all kinds of things, from the development corporation to uh, the health department to uh, Garrett Trails and, and on and on and different boards and so on and so forth. Um, another thing that we wanted to do, and, and this will be something that I guess at the end of the day will be judged by you all and not by us, is, is to become more business friendly. Um, we've talked with our staff often. You know, when, when you guys have a problem or you need something done, generally you'll call one of the staff members or one of the department heads, not necessarily one of us. We expect them to be responsive and respectful, and I think they are. Uh, we've gotten a lot of positive feedback on that uh, to, to validate that. Um, and, and we certainly appreciate that. And then the three of us try to practice what we preach as well. We try to be receptive uh, to, to go where invited and to, to try to help everyone with, uh, with their concerns and dealing with the state, local, and federal governments. And when we bring people in, we try to make sure that they're accessible to, to the citizens and, and uh, decisions that are important to our county. We've asked repeatedly for us and for our citizens to have a seat at the table and be part of those decisions. Uh, number six, um, kind of falls again, a lot of these kind of commingle, uh, but assist and become better partners with the municipalities. Uh, we take that very seriously. We heard a lot of that in the, in the campaign. And you know, if you don't live in a municipality, you might be sitting there thinking, what's the big deal? And how does this impact me? I mean, outside of the fact that they pay a lot of tax, they bring in, you know, tourism isn't just relegated to Deep Creek Lake. And there's a lot of cool stuff in Friendsville, Grantsville, accident, you know, Kitzmiller, we could go on and on, and those people bring people in too, and that's their livelihoods, and they're just as important as anybody else. But more importantly, if one of those towns would happen to fail, what maybe some people don't realize is if they turn their charter in, what that means is all that debt comes back to the county, and we assume it all. So it's very important that we help assist uh, our municipalities to stay viable and to be able to provide the services to their residents. And at one point in time, when that highway user money went away, we almost lost two of our municipalities. There's actually meetings where, and I sat in on them, that they said, I think I'm just going to turn the charter in and be done with it. We've kind of gotten past that now, and most of them are in pretty good shape. you got a lot of dedicated mayors, and a mayor's job in Garrett County is a mayor for life, basically. There ain't no one lining up at the gates to take that job from you. But we appreciate that, Donnie. <laughs> um, and again, with the municipalities, we try to be very active also with their organizations, GGBA, Go, the Lions Clubs, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, and finally, and, and uh, I think also very important, to make timely decisions. You know, when, when things come up, we try to act decisively. We try to gather as much information as we can, and then we try to act on it. Uh, you know, one of the first, actually, I think it might have been the very first thing we did after we were uh, put into office was to adopt the, the water and sewer master plan. Uh, the Garrett County was in non-compliance on the water and sewer master plan for about 10 years. Uh, and, and that was one of the first things that we did. Uh, the town of Friendsville, uh, for years, they were trying to uh, get more sewer and water taps for the town. Uh, we worked very closely with Mayor Sloshnagel and, and MDE and Pat is back there, is instrumental in this. We were able to uh, get them, I think it was 40 or 42 extra taps 
uh, which is something they they tried to do for a long time. So you can't grow without the water and sewer tap. So we were, and we did that. The only place uh, that we probably fell a little bit short on that uh, is the watershed management plan. And I see uh, some folks out here around know that's their their issue, their main issue. Um, <clears throat> part of that was because there was uh, some pieces of that, that that really bothered some people, but I think we've worked through some of that. I mean, David Meyerberg's here. Uh, I know he was uh, a member of the steering committee for the management plan. Uh, and, you know, we've talked with Barbara and friends of Deep Creek Lake and Bob and the POA. And, and uh, I think uh, I think we're real close to being able to have something that we can move forward on, hopefully relatively soon. That's one area uh, in timely decision making that we probably dropped the ball. Uh, and we apologize for that and, and we'll try to do better with that moving forward. Uh, and, and, and finally, and then we'll go to question. Remember, if you have a question, you know, raise your hand, get a card, write it down, get it to Carol, she'll get it up here and, and we'll answer them. Uh, another big issue when we were going through the campaign, it was talked about over and over and over again, and we didn't put it on any of our goals kind of interwoven, was this transparency piece. You know, transparency works two ways, and I think we were at a forum here, and Sheriff Corley made that statement. He's absolutely right, and this is this is your part to be part of that. If, if we have this meeting and nobody shows up, nobody's transparent, because obviously nobody wants to know what's going on. So it's great to see such a big crowd here. Uh, but what we've done in that regard, um, you know, first and foremost, we moved our meeting time. I don't know how many of you guys went to commissioner's meeting in years past, um, but they were in the morning and it was difficult to get there. And if there's a highly controversial issue, maybe there were some people there, but generally there wasn't. Uh, so we moved the meeting time into the afternoon um, and, and it's worked. We've had uh, a lot of familiar faces in here come to a lot of our meetings. Most of our meetings, there's a lot of people at. And that's good. People want to be informed, they want to be involved, and that's great. We also moved our meetings around the county. Uh, not everybody who lives in Kids Miller can get those. Uh, or get there by a certain time. And so we, we were in several municipalities and areas throughout the year. It was very well received. We're gonna do it again next year. Uh, we were out in Deer Park. Uh, we were in Accent, we were in Friendsville, we were in Kitzmiller, we were in Bloomington, we were in Grantsville. Uh, we're here tonight. Um, and, and we've offered to, to come to other places if, if asked, um, you know, for, for other groups or, or whatever. Um, so we're, we're open to that. We have some ideas, a couple different places we want to go next year as well. Uh, until the spring, from, from after this meeting until the spring, we'll be back at the courthouse because weather will become an issue at some point, I'm sure. Um, another thing uh, that we did, uh, administration administrative sessions by law are open. They always have been. Um, but we've, we've publicized that and we've uh, we put it on our agenda try to inform people what's on them. I'll be honest, most of the time they're pretty boring uh, and, and basically mundane stuff, but you never know. But they're, they're open if you ever want to come in and see who gets appointed to what committee or whatever, you're, you're welcome. And then obviously, finally, this, this evening, uh, and trying to uh, open it up and give somewhat of a view of uh, where, you know, we've been in office now just over a year. So this is a good time to do it. We're gonna try to do this again the next couple of years in December go over a lot of the same things like this. Um, so with that, uh, we really appreciate everybody coming out. Uh, there, things are challenging. They still are challenging. The future is going to be challenging, at least in the, in the near future. If some of these pieces of legislation happen to, to pass the legislature, and if some of these businesses and some of this other stuff comes uh, to fruition, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel and we're getting there. We're gonna to need to continue to work together to navigate these difficult budgets until we have some, some cash that we can free up some things again. Uh, so we ask for your help. We appreciate you coming out. We look forward to another year that's better than this one. And uh, with that, I know we